So, I want to talk about Minecraft Creepypasta. Minecraft Creepypastas are supposedly scary short stories about the video game Minecraft, and often also refer to characters involved in them. If you're clicking on this video, you probably know that the most famous example is Herobrine, which was really more of an evolution of an urban legend than a single Creepypasta story. However, plenty of Creepypasta stories in general have been made about Herobrine. The one that most people consider official is the original one, released in August 2010 on 4chan along with this image which established Herobrine's appearance. Herobrine was really interesting as he was really the first example of a new type of being that hadn't gotten that much traction previously. A lot of people wrote stories inspired by Herobrine's original creepypasta, which have been very unlovingly termed Herobrine clones by the community, and incorporate similar ideas to Herobrine. For like the four people who don't know this already, Herobrine at its core is a sentient conscious being within the game itself. Because this is a creepypasta, these characters are usually portrayed doing uh, bad things, or at least things that nine-year-olds would consider scary. And I feel like that's what I want to focus on the most, the actual nature of what these characters actually do and what they are. Which is something I don't think a lot of people do. I think a lot of people just go, ooh, scary, and leave. So, as the title card said, Herobrine is not evil. Or at least, there's nothing in the original story suggesting that he is evil. In fact, most characterizations of him, or at least his predecessor, White Eyes, prior to that, only portray him as mildly and perhaps unintentionally creepy. I guess maybe people are just prejudiced against ghosts. Oh right, that's the other weird thing with Herobrine. According to the original story, Herobrine is Notch's dead brother. Notch didn't even have a brother. But this was sort of adopted into the general Herobrine lore. I personally think it detracts from his character, kind of, but it is in the original story, and it doesn't really have that much effect on arguments about his morality. Like, all that Herobrine does in the original dude's world is build random stuff. Like, OMG guys, I found the Herobrine structure in my world. What could it possibly mean? I don't know, is he mining, testing out the sand physics, clearing out an area to use for his base? There are probably more innocent explanations for what Herobrine does than evil ones. And the second half of the story in this analysis would just be him getting angry at people for calling out what he does. Like, at least from his perspective, Herobrine is just a normal person. And I feel like that's the perspective change a lot of people need on this topic. To sort of start treating these characters like actual people. With person-like motives, feelings, etc. And here's where my opinion about these supposed Herobrine clones comes into play. When you frame Herobrine as a person, it just seems logical that he shouldn't be unique. Calling any of these characters Herobrine knockoffs is like calling me a Notch knockoff. And given a lot of creepypasta writers agree that there is some sort of shared universe, even if they disagree on the exact nature of it, like, the best justification I can come up with is maybe that people don't tend to really develop their characters. And like, one, a lot of these characters do actually end up having plenty of personality, you just need to, you know, look into their interactions. And two, you could just treat it like, say, Herobrine and Entity 303 are the main characters, while people like Lick and Green Steve are, like, the side characters. And three, not every character needs a deep, tragic backstory, my characters really just have vibes to them. And now, with no clear transition that doesn't sound like I'm talking to someone in a conversation, let's move on to the next complaint I have about creepypastas. Mainly, the overabundance of real-life backstory or associations for the entities. The specific example I was talking about earlier being Herobrine being Notch's dead brother. For whatever reason, this type of thing is, like, really common, and I don't know why. I feel like it sort of detracts from the uniqueness of this type of character to have it actually be formerly some real-life person, or actually even actually be some real-life person playing the game. I feel like people usually do it to try to make their stories scary, but here is quite a hot take that I don't think you would have heard from anyone else before. Minecraft creepypastas don't need to be creepy. And specifically, the format that these entity stories use has sort of ascended beyond the point of being scary in the slightest. Entity 303 didn't need to be a former Mojang employee. Herobrine didn't need to be Notch's dead brother. Their stories would be just as engaging, if not more, without the real-life association. So, I believe people should stop writing these stories to be creepy. 
And all of this actually ties into what I wanted to get at with this video, which is my own personal contribution to the Minecraft Creepypasta community. The Sulphur Network, which is my own adaptation of and expansion on the personalities of over a dozen Creepypasta characters, including many of the more well-known entities and a couple more obscure ones. All of them are considered codelings in-universe, which is my term for beings that live entirely in a digital environment like Minecraft. And one of the guidelines I have for the setting is that most codelings are good in the same way that most humans are good in real life. Okay, there's like one person with a particular interest in tuber vegetables who would disagree with that last point, but whatever. I find it interesting because Sulphur Network presents a new perspective on these characters that hasn't really been explored that much previously. Which is surprising, honestly, I thought at least someone would come up with the idea. But I guess maybe Minecraft creepypastas aren't really a common interest to have, or that the people who do have this interest don't really think of the perspectives I'm describing. I do hope you keep what I've said in mind regarding Minecraft creepypastas. But that's really all I have to say for now. And remember, Herobrine is not evil. Watch you owe me, me. Fishing, 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 f